Well, welcome. My name is Kevin Parsons. I'm the College of Computing and Informatic Advising Director. And welcome to this presentation. I'm going to spend a few minutes with you to cover some information about the college, its history, teaching within the college, and information on the actual makeup of the degree. So as you may know, software is everywhere, right? You know, I have it on my wrist, I have it in my pocket, on my phone. Software is driving our cars, it's part of our house, smart homes and whatnot. Science and biotech fields really need software developers and data analysts. Uh, online teaching and learning companies need software developers. Um, the Charlotte region is, has a huge demand for software developers. Uh, so really the, the whole state, you know, we, we really need you in this uh, particular field. So we've been around UNC Charlotte, at UNC Charlotte as a standalone college of computing and informatics for about 20 years now. And before that, we were part of the College of Engineering. And you'll find at some schools that their computer science department is still part of the College of Engineering or part of their engineering fields. And it was determined about 20 years ago by our administrators that there are some courses, especially courses in labs in engineering, that just aren't required for software developers. Things like differential equations and physics and chemistry just aren't needed by software developers. So we broke away from the College of Engineering and became our standalone college uh, about 20 years ago. Now, I do want you to know that uh, for the past 20 years, we have been focused on an inclusive culture, uh, student success, educational quality and equity. We've been doing high impact and high risk research, and we are taking a responsibility for ethics and technology. So the computer science, we have two different degrees. We have a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Science. So when you graduate, you are going to have a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science in computer science. And really, a lot of the employers uh, who are looking for our graduates really just need to see that. They, they want to know, does this person have all of the skills and coursework and abilities that the folks who are going through the Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts degree are getting? The answer is yes, of course, but within the particular degrees, you are having the opportunity to focus on a particular area, and everything is listed up here, and some detailed descriptions on these particular concentrations are on our advising website and then some materials that you'll have access to, but it gives you an opportunity to focus on a particular area of interest within either the Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. We do have an early entry program. Early entry is an opportunity for you as an undergraduate to start taking graduate level coursework and apply those graduate courses to a master's degree. You get a double dip with those courses. You get to use the graduate level courses both as undergraduate curriculum courses for your bachelor's degree, and then you will apply those to your master's degree and only have about a year's worth of coursework left when you finish. Um, so that's quite nice. You pay undergraduate tuition for those graduate level courses. You, of course, you do have to be um, junior or senior to qualify for this program and also have a strong 3.2 grade point average. Now, when you are working on our degree, every student at UNC Charlotte has to earn 120 semester credit hours. Uh, the credit hours are made up with these particular buckets on this slide here. About two-thirds of your degree is going to be made up of computer science major courses and those courses you do for your concentration. And then about one-third for every student comes from general education. And then the remaining coursework that you need can be satisfied with a minor, a second major, or just a number of electives if you have a particular interest and want to uh, dabble in a couple of other subjects. So that will be totally up to you with what you do uh, with your remaining credit hours. Uh, as far as teaching and learning within the college, we have a lot of interactive teaching and learning opportunities. Many of our classes are taught in a flipped classroom style to where students are doing a lot of self-learning in teams before the actual lecture. And then they go into the lecture and the instructor will assess what you have learned, what you know, and then that instructor will focus on uh, particular areas that need the most attention. If you're a student in computer science, you're not going get to get to sit idly in the back of the classroom and just absorb all the material the instructor is talking about. You're going to be up moving around, working in groups and teams, and participating in active learning. 
Students in the College of Computing and Informatics have a number of different scholarship opportunities. Some of these can be uh, earned before you start at UNC Charlotte. Incoming freshmen and transfer students can apply for a few different scholarships. But the bulk of our scholarships are for students who are continuing in the major. Students typically apply through the Niner Scholars portal in January, and then we make decisions through the spring semester and notify students of their scholarship in the spring. One great thing about UNC Charlotte and the College of Computing Informatics is students kind of run the show outside of classroom. Administrators and advisors, we offer a lot of guidance, and of course, f uh, faculty members offer the instruction. But when it comes to outside the classroom activities, it's going to be up to the student as to what happens and um, how active they are. We do have um, peer mentoring and tutoring available, tutoring separate from the University Tutoring Center that focuses on our specific computer science courses. Um, our highlight mentoring program or flagship mentoring program is called North State Corporate Mentoring, primarily focused on women in computing, but the uh, North State program will pair undergraduates up with corporate mentors in the Charlotte region. Those corporate mentors invite the students to their workplace and students can observe and um, see what actually goes on day to day in that particular workplace. Those corporate mentors come back to campus and meet with our students. It's a great way for our female students to um, network outside the College of Computing and Informatics. Um, the CCI Business Partners Program is a great way for students to get engaged with our corporate partners. The corporate partners will participate in career fairs and internship fairs. They will also help students with their resume, cover letter writing, um, set up their LinkedIn page if necessary. But one of the biggest things that our corporate, men, corporate partners do uh, is to uh, participate in something called Meet and Eat. We have this fun little name called Meet and Eat. The corporate partner will come in, make about a 45 minute presentation about their company, working for their company, salary, benefits, uh, other types of uh, opportunities within the company. And then it gives a student a chance to just low risk, ask questions about anything from that particular person, and also to network. And there's always free food involved too. So you can't, can't go wrong with that. Clubs and organizations, we have a number of them. There's even more than what's listed on this slide. Some that I really want to point out here is um, a very popular club is called 49th Security Division. A lot of our cybersecurity students are in this one. This particular organization, uh, they do ethical hacking competitions with uh, other schools in the region. Sometimes they win prize money, sometimes they win bragging rights, uh, whatever the case might be, it's a very active club. Charlotte Hack is very similar, but they focus more on general software development. We have Game Developers Club, uh, and then we also have one of the uh, pay positions, and it's kind of a, in between a club and an organization, is called Dean's Ambassadors. These folks work directly for the dean. They are high achieving undergraduate students. They do get paid for their work and they are out there making um, connections with incoming students. They, will partic they participate in our Explore program through admissions and admitted students day, but they also make connections with other undergraduates and sometimes act as mentors as well. Uh, Dean's Ambassadors is something you definitely want to look into uh, once you get established in the College of Computing and Informatics. And another one I want to point out is the STARS program. STARS is a way for students, undergraduate students, to go and give back to the community, but give back to elementary and middle school students by introducing them to computing, software development, coding, whatever the case might be. And uh, students who are in this program feel really, really rewarded by participating because they know that they are making an impact on those young students' lives. We also have a number of undergraduate research opportunities. We have grown tremendously in the past 10 years, and we have brought in these outstanding faculty from other colleges and universities across the country and around the world, as a matter of fact, and they bring with them a lot of money. They bring grant money, and they create undergraduate research opportunities for our students. And there are a number, there's three listed up on this slide, but the, the UNC CCI website has um, many other opportunities listed. And some of these are paid undergraduate research, research opportunities. Sometimes students can earn class credit for them or they will just be able to have something to put on their resume. 
But um, one thing to remember about this is another way for you to get involved outside of class. So you have the clubs and organizations, organizations like Dean's Ambassadors, and then undergraduate research. This slide is only for those students who are taking courses at a community college. Uh, you may be thinking about transferring into UNC Charlotte, or maybe you've already taken some courses and wonder about how those transfer in. This information is on undergraduate admissions website under the transfer section, but I wanted to put it up here just in case you had some questions about how uh, community college courses might transfer in. This is a list of most of our business partners. We've actually added some new ones recently. And you can see these are some heavy hitters in the Charlotte region, and some of them are uh, worldwide companies, Fortune 500 companies. These folks pay us to be our partner. And they are serious about recruiting our students and networking with our students. And they um, will make regular visits to our college and make regular meetings with our students and participate in those career fairs and also participate in those meet and eats that I mentioned earlier. So keep that in mind. We have a number of great business partners available. So I want to take this opportunity on this last slide here to kind of toot our horn a little bit. Um, I want to tell you that we are the number one producer of computer science graduates in the state of North Carolina. We're the number one producer of female graduates in the state of North Carolina. We're the number one producer of Latinx graduates in the state of North Carolina, and the number two producer of African American computer science graduates. We have also um, a number two ranking for the game development program in North Carolina. We have research funding of $8.6 million, creating those undergraduate research opportunities that I mentioned earlier. Uh, we've been um, the cybersecurity program has been established as long as our particular College of Computing Informatics has. It's been around for 20 years. We are recognized worldwide for uh, cybersecurity. And then our enrollment growth has exceeded over 200% in the past 11 years. Um, and again, we like to boast about that because that is where we're hiring the new faculty people, bringing in that extra money, creating those new undergraduate research opportunities. So thank you for your time. Uh, we are always available. Again, my name is Kevin Parsons. I can be reached at, um, through the CCI website. We have a general um, uh, email link and also just kfparson at uncc.edu. If you have any questions at all, I can help.